Jordan. Good day. Welcome to our new learning today. I'm going to teach you how to ride a bobbin cycle or MMS or pull it program for this machine using the touch probe sensor. Where's the monitor? Hit the cursor. Program. This is our program last time that we set uh, WPC, if you remember. Today I'm going to teach you how to write a probing cycle. Hit edit. This is the cursor, I like the blue one. Move that one in here, this is the touch screen. Then, hit the cursor here. There's a, this is the variety of command in here. Program copy, multiple unit copy, unit copy, shift copy, erase, insert, calculate, search, program complete. Now to choose insert. Okay. Now we insert a new unit, the probing cycle program. In NASA, we call it MMS or Mazak Measuring System. There you go. Mazak Measuring System Toll Sensor. That's the name of the proof. Toll Sensor. Machine gonna ask you nominal diameter. That's the cursor here. On this machine, that sensor, the diameter of the tool probe, you see the ruby, the polar red one, diameter 0.24. You need to input that one in here. 5.24. There you go. Point of all, and the cursor move as toll ID code. On this machine, we don't have toll ID code. Just hit enter. Then the cursor move number. It stands for machining priority number. In G codes, it's a program sequence on NASA we call it machining priority number we always use like 1357 or 4468 but right now put number one enter there we go that's now program sequence on this machine the cursor move use scale it means miss your zero is yes one is no now it's already zero it means probe cycle gonna run hit enter now the cursor move and that's the time you need to Miss your X phase, Y phase, Z phase, X group, Y group, X step, Y step. That's the choices, steps or procedure to make a probing cycle program. There's a cursor here, another folder. There's a, if you have a circle, a ball, a boss or a diameter. X, Y, T, corner 
and calibration and point in. But we're going to measure the X phase, Y phase, and Z phase to find the reference point. First, we do the X phase. X phase we measure here, this side, the Y in this side, and the Z surface is here. Then we put 0.5 Negative 0.5 You need to have a clearance at least 500 tau to measure the X space Then Y Just put 2 inches Yeah, two inches. Z is you can put at least 300 tau or more as long as you didn't crash the or destroy the top screw. I usually put negative 0.5 500 tau. There you go. A is an angle axis. On this machine, we don't have angle, just put zero. Enter, zero. R, it means reference point. This your face coordinate X. It's a zero, right? Reference point, at zero. There you go. That's how we do the X space probing cycle program. Now we need to do the Y. Get the cursor. Insert again. Okay. Now there's another line. Put Y face. The Y again four inches at least then negative point five if you're measuring the Y surface negative there you go then Z negative 0.5 There you go Then 0 angle 0 R miss your face coordinate Y 0 reference point Enter 0 Here the reference point Then the cursor move because your Y face probing cycle program is done. Now we gotta do the Z face. But also insert to write a new line again. There you go. It shows Z face. There you go. Then you need to move inside to the Box to be two inches in. Then why two inches in? Then you're measuring from the top. You go point five. To the Z. See? If you put negative, it will crash right on the spot. Then you destroy the touch proof. So you break the touch proof. Zero for the A axis. There's no angle. R means reference point. Initial phase coordinate Z at zero. 
because we need a reference point. There you go, guys. That's how you write a probing cycle program. If you watched last time, how to set up the probe manually for WPC to get the WPC value. That's how you learn the manual setting of WPC or workload setting. But today, we got a programming of that probe cycle. It's, it's the program. Now we need to run it. You need to be on position mode. Position. There we go. The, the program. That's the program last time. Then our program is program triple eight 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 eight. You need to input that in a memory or in a position mode. Help memory. Our program number is. I'm gonna show you to you. I'm gonna show you to you. It's program 888. Position. We need to change that program number. It should be 888. Work number. 888. Here we go, work number. Then OK. See? Program 888 is good to go right now. That's how you run a program with a mazak you need to input that number. Now we're gonna close the door. To run our programming cycle program. We're on memory now, memory. Then you need to hit this one. Let's go close. Door is closed now. Program 888. When you're running the touch probe, make it sure you run it slow to make it safe. When it comes you make mistake in or writing a program, you can feed it, feed it hold or stop it immediately. Now we are on 10% rapid covers. Hit start button. There you go guys. Let me show you now. See? You see guys? We did 500 tau clearance or 0.5 inch. You will hear, hear, hear a sound. Now it is, it's doing wire. See? You will always hear a sound when it touches. Now it's doing Z. See, it's point five. Position or initial Z clearance. There you go. That's the probing cycle program. Hope you guys learn today. And our WPC or work it in or code it sitting already set on a probing cycle program.
Hope you guys learn. See you soon. Watch the previous video to learn more about Mezak. Shout out, Selena guys, Jeffrey, Neno, JC, Mam Cesar, and Joshua. Keep following our videos, guys. See you soon. Bye bye.